SIL insulted my kid so I exposed her lies. SIL is the kind of mom that always has to one-up other kids. She constantly talks about how her kids are smarter, taller, faster etc. than her friend's kids. She literally bragged about them peeing more than her friend's kids when they were babies lol. It was worse when my husband and I had our twins. Suddenly everything was a competition that her kids always won. One of my girls rolled over at four months, her son had rolled over when he was just a week old. The twins both took their first steps around 13 months, her daughter was running at four months. She didn't actually start walking until around 16 months. She even changed the weight of her kids' birth weights which makes them both heavier than the current heaviest newborn in America. It's so weird that she feels the need to tell such obvious lies, especially to people who know she's lying because they were there when her kids were small. I got annoyed when she went from lying about her own kids to telling me there is something wrong with mine. The girls are a few months shy of two and they are both healthy, on track and hitting their milestones. SIL has become obsessed with the idea that there is something wrong with them because they are not speaking in long sentences. Of course they are not, they are not even two they are both developmentally on track but she insists that her children were speaking in five six word phrases by 18 months. Spoiler they were not. Honestly, her son is almost seven and I can still barely understand a word the kid says. My husband and I ignored her but she took it too far when I got a call from her friend who works in early intervention who was under the impression I was very concerned about my children. We talked and her friend confirmed that yes, they are on track and no, there's nothing to worry about. I finally lost my patience. Hey, her kids are breaking almost every record there is and that should be celebrated. We had dinner with my husband's family on Saturday kids were in another room and I decided it was the perfect time to give her my gift a booklet I had printed and laminated called the White Claw Book of World Records. I printed all the supposed milestones of her kids, complete with photos and info of the actual world record holders now that they had been pushed to second place. She flipped through the first couple of pages, went beat red and called me an asshole. Her husband took it from her and got through the first page before laughing hysterically and asking her why the hell she was still lying? Apparently it was not the first time they talked about her lying about their kids. She stormed out but texted me later that night and asked why I'd humiliated her when all she'd ever tried to do was help me get my kids the help they needed, but if that was how I wanted to treat her then she'd stop. So I guess it's a win for me. Tell her the only one who needs help is her. Perhaps you have a friend who works in late intervention who can give her a call to help her grow out of her middle school age of development. I love how her husband asked her why she was still lying. Love this you should have stuffed an application to apply for the different records. White Claw Book of World Records rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing. OMG this is epic the fact her husband cracked up makes it even better. Can we be friends? Smiling face with sunglasses. Reminds me when my son was about 14 months and my SIL decided he was deaf. I told her to try to sneak up on him. Spoiler alert. He heard her every time. Or his psychic. I guess it could be either. You didn't care about her lies and probably wouldn't have done what you did if she didn't involve outside individuals in something you already knew was normal development that was verified by a professional. She really is an asshole and a pathological liar that needs to mind her own business. If she was saying something was wrong with my kids she would never be allowed around them. There is something very wrong with her, maybe she should look into getting help for herself instead of innocent children who are fine. Her husband took it from her and got through the first page before laughing hysterically and asking her why the hell she was still lying? Apparently it was not the first time they talked about her lying about their kids. That sounds like a healthy marriage. My cousin lied about her kid being in the NICU for two months my sister's kid was in for four weeks. I had heard she started doing this so I was ready last time I saw her at Thanksgiving. I mentioned how her son is growing like a weed he's now 13 and what happened to the tiny baby she lamented about oh the NICU, we thought he'd never make it out and I said hold up, NICU? 
and presented a photo of me holding him in a standard hospital room. Her husband asked her why do you lie about this? It was solid gold. Win for you, win for your husband, win for her husband. Seriously, she needs some emotional help. And fast. I fear for her husband and her children in my opinion she's got some deep deep insecurities. Good luck. Excellent response and a perfect outcome. Remind her of it whenever she starts again. Did you keep a copy of the book for yourself? Whenever she starts lying about her kids again you could flip to the back of the book and on, just need to update this. Please tell me that she regularly imbibes white claw and that title was intentional face with tears of joy. Sounds like my ex-husband's first wife. Her kids are the smartest one is failing school, the other is normal, best dancer our girls go to same school, skinniest so tiny one is a giant 6 feet 5 inches and the other is chubby all bc my kids are literal peanuts it's always a competition I laugh and ignore it at this point. It stopped getting to me but I know my kids feel it bc her youngest is just like her when they run she's the fastest and changes the rules when she's not winning. Send her some links to therapists. Tell her maybe she should talk to someone. After she messaged you, I'd have messaged her back and said if I ever find out you've been talking about my kids behind my back about how they are delayed and something is wrong with them, that little book will like a bouquet of roses when I'm done with you. You need to be careful with her. There is no limit to how far people like her will go when challenged. She crossed a major line by bringing a third party into it without your consent. I would get legal advice and document the behavior from her in case she does it again. The last thing you need is her calling DCF saying you're a negligent mother. She might be telling other people her lies and any one of them could make one call and ruin your life. Watch out. This crazy bitch is about one step away from her munchausens by proxy getting her to call child protective services on behalf of your kids. Who we have to say your sills behavior tastes a bit like a pre-form of Munchausen syndrome by proxy. You have an elephant, she has a box to put it in. When she talked about giving birth to the world's heaviest newborns I would have been like that must have really stretched things out down there yes, I know that isn't scientifically correct but it's a pretty good burn. She started it you've stopped it. Love it people that full of shit think that the rest of us can't smell it. LOL. Also, in case you're curious, the CDC has a milestone tracker app that is free to download and goes to age 4 or 5. Well, MYYYYY uterus holds double children you're only having one kid at a time? You should go get that checked. May I please use the White Claw Book of World Records? I feel like my friend could use a wake-up call. Definitely a win for you may she never burden you again with stupid talk like that. This is brilliant. Even funnier that her husband thought it was hilarious. My kid is two in a couple of weeks and he's definitely not talking in full sentences. Too funny. I have to wonder what the fireworks were like that night, between SIL hubby. I bet they were spectacular. Sounds like a win-win for OP. Wow I love the time and effort of this revenge her husband will probably keep that booklet to keep her in check, so good. This story cleared my skin. Can you show us a few pages, I'd love to see it lol. Fantastic. She now cannot lie without looking a total ass ha. You shut that bitch up good and even the husband got to have a pop for free thumbs up sign expert work. Her husband been waiting for this moment. NGL, I really want to see the book. Not a win, she's still being manipulative to the very end by trying to play the victim. Good thing it's via text. Don't delete those. Expect her to escalate now that her ego is wounded. Outstanding trophy explosion symbol face with no good gesture medium light skin tone moji modifier hashtag hash smiling face with sunglasses. Is your SIL my ex-wife? It's just pathological. Let me guess she's got nothing else going on in her life. 